I just like it because it's so crazy. It's so barking mad in, in terms of design, in terms of the driving experience, in terms of how it sounds like everything about it. There's no, there's no sort of compromise. There's no nod towards sanity with the Stratos. Everything is nuts. And I love that. We buy cars that we have a connection to, and I think that growing up in England as a kid, I used to watch rally, dry, rally stuff on TV, and of course, the Stratos was a fantastic rally champion and I think for two or three years running. I function very much aesthetically in a lot of ways, so I've always loved how it looks, how the design of it, and I like the sort of singularity of the design. It was designed for one thing, which is to race and win rallies. So when you open the doors, you see the door pocket is, is designed to accommodate a crash helmet, which I kind of love. I mean, I love cars that are without compromise, so it's not a very, it's not a particularly relaxing car to drive. It's not beautiful, it's, it's weird, it's odd looking. You know, it's sort of like, it's some sort of weapons grade product, which it really is what it is, but it's just, it's so purposeful and I really like that. It's like driving around in the pillbox, you can't really see anything except in front of you. Uh, but it's so uh, invasive. It's like having invasive surgery, driving the Stratos, <laughs> because there's all these noises and clanks and rattles, and it's got a racing suspension in the back, so it's just it's just sort of clunking about. And I mean, it's just it's just it's a symphony of sort of vaguely disastrous noises, which I really love. Well, half of driving the Stratos is just what happens in my head, which is total and utter terror at all times, because I've lived with so many stories, and every story you ever read about the Lancia Stratos tells you that it's terrifying to drive, it's trying to kill you, it's going to spin around at the drop of a hat. And then, of course, there's driving it, which is, it feels twitchy and it feels very light. But then, I, because I've got this giant sort of mass of terror lurking in the back of my head, I tend to drive it a bit like a granny. So I'm not really, I don't know if it's going to spin around or not, but anyway, I live in terror when I drive it, but in sort of an exhilarating way. Actually, uh, the thing about driving the Stratos is that no one really knows, most people don't know what it is. So, well, people actually often ask me if it's a kit car, which I say, yes, it's a Fiero-based car, is my usual answer to that. Well, I mean, basically, it's funny, because I, I mentioned the kit car earlier when I was, when I was restoring the car. When we, I would talk to the guy, and it, we always used to laugh about it, because he said, I've seen kit cars that have better build quality than this Stratos. And it's true, I mean, they just threw them together because essentially the, this is a Stradale, which was the, 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 ostensibly the road car. So they didn't care about the, the road cars, they cared about the, the, the rally cars, the race cars they were building. Well, for instance, everything's about lightweight on the Stratos, right? So see, this is just a decal. They don't have bloody badges. <laughs> but it has all the features of the rally car. Uh, so yes, door pocket to accommodate crash helmet. The window is some sort of horrifying contraption where you basically unscrew a nut and then you kind of move this thing up and down and it moves the window up and down. But if you leave the window up and you slam the door, you can tend to shatter the windows, which is what I discovered delightfully about a year ago. The Stratos was the kind of car you would have seen in prototype, which have ended up not being made, but it ended up somehow being made. And, 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 it's, and it's, it's like it's from another planet. It kind of, when you see it driving down the street, particularly in an urban setting or suburban setting, it just seems totally anomalous. And I, I, I love the fact that it's so peculiar.